going back to um your content i was recently fascinated by a certain video with a certain pitcher who averages about 98 on his fastball who also has a deep knowledge of indie music which i was just it's crazy that that's the same human being <laughs> um how did the spencer strider ranking of the strokes discography idea come about well so spencer it's weird he um he like messaged me like a really thoughtful message on twitter it was like after he got drafted so i didn't really know that much about him i was like oh cool the braves drafted this guy in like the fifth round out of clemson awesome he had tj when he was in college oh i'll wonder what he'll become and then within a year of that he was in the big leagues he rocked it through like every level of the minors and then a year after that he was one of the best pitchers in major league baseball so he's he's a real one for sure uh but yeah as far as like reaching out to him about that i i read in the athletic um that that was kind of his thing like on spencer strider start days he listens to the strokes which means the whole clubhouse has to listen to the mm -hmm. strokes and i believe he actually for his most recent start against the padre showed up in a the strokes t-shirt uh to the ballpark so i was like okay this is great i'll I'll ask him if he wants to come on and talk about the strokes. And then that kind of evolved into, Hey, let's rank the strokes discography. And he just goes, he, he messed me. He goes, Oh yeah, I already did that. I have like a whole spreadsheet with my buddy and I I'm like, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what can we, can we, can we talk about that instead? You know, I mean, we can talk about the strokes too, but let's, well, let's hold on, hold your horses here, Spencer. Like you're telling me you have a spreadsheet that's color coded with like 200 plus albums. He had been waiting last for you years. to say that for so long. I know he or somebody to say it, right? No, I guess what does that say about the beat reporters in Atlanta? You know, like someone at some point would have had to ask him, and I guess I got the scoop on that one. Yeah, the, it, yeah, it was like over at least over 150 albums judged on like I don't know. It was like music album music art quality, impact album art. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty crazy i think it is very funny that like the two you know big collabs that you've done with pitchers where it's like you talked to lucas giolito talked about pitching and you know like how he is on the mound and then spencer strider nothing related whatsoever at all right yeah that's a very good point and yeah. it's an interesting position for me because a lot of these like content creators like have like form pretty strong relationships with MLB players. And for me, it's just like, it's just me and like, I just have like a few knuckleheads, like they're all pitchers and they're all pretty cool. And we're just kind of buds, you know? So that's about it. It's like, yeah, uh, Lucas and Spencer, and those are my guys, you know?